What's up, everybody? We got 10 minutes here to talk about, you know, something that isn't related necessarily to hunting and shooting. It could be loosely related to hunting. Let's say we're talking about, you know, food after you, you know, get a deer or an elk or an antelope, whatever. But big, big debate went on on our Instagram page uh, not long ago and also just internally, which was burritos versus street tacos. What is better? And we have Jimmy here on the mark on the mic, Mark across from me. Colin, who was in our burger cook-off, is joining us as well. Thanks, Colin. And Brittany, who's normally not on camera or on the podcast and is actually doing all the work around here and making sure we're in the right place at the right time, is on here. She had some very strong opinions, so uh, we told her to put her money where her mouth is and join us on the podcast. And with that said, MC Ryan reluctantly uh, joined us here and, and set this all up because I, I don't think he's sick of hearing us talk about it. I'm just going to start it off. I think burritos are better. Now, why do Mark and Brittany, you're on the street tacos side. Colin joins me on the burrito side. What? How do we start this out? You guys want to state your case? For I why? just state your case, yeah. And, I would say. And, I maybe, would, and I yeah. might have a rebuttal for each one of your cases. I would say opening arguments from each side, and then each right. side can re- rebuttal, and then closing arguments. Oh, okay, so, so you were on the b- debate team, weren't you? Burrito. No, I actually wasn't. <laughs> so burritos probably should have been, but are fine. better in my opinion. Here's here's my thought on, and Colin can back me up. He actually came with notes. I did. Street tacos, everybody talks about, you know, oh, they're small. You can try all these different kinds of street tacos in one sitting. And it's like, in my opinion couple things. When you when you go to a restaurant with street tacos, you feel forced to try different kinds. So you're getting chicken, pork, steak, fish, shrimp, whatever. But I'm going to cut you off right there. You're because I'm picky. Okay. So yeah. like if different I order if you're picky. Because if I order <laughs> one huge burrito and I don't like it, like then I'm not going to eat for that dinner and it's a waste of money and food. But if I order seven tacos, and I only don't like one of them, I, I can still eat the other six. If you're ordering and, a burrito, you're and not And if necessarily... you're sitting next to Brittany, you're in luck because you're getting like three extra tacos. <laughs> Heck yeah. yeah. You're like, if I am you're the ordering, best dinner date. If you're ordering a burrito, though, you're not necessarily going out on a limb and getting something that you've never gotten before because you're just going to get something that's staying good. I've never had a bad burrito because I always Agreed. just get something I know I'm going to like. But anyway. But how do you know always... you're going to like it? Oh, okay. Because it's chicken, a burrito. Chicken, cilantro, lime rice, beans, uh, fajita veggies, cheese, cheese, guac, green salsa. It, I how do I? How's oh, that? they'd not never go like together, it. Jim. So it anyway, does go together. but here's the thing: everybody talks about all these different kinds you can try. Okay, first off, your stomach isn't meant to to digest steak and chicken and beef. Or, I guess that's the same as steak, but you know, <laughs> shrimp and fish and pork and all these different meats all at the same time. Digest them in different rates. That's going to give you a stomach ache. And then also, mm-hmm. oh, inevitably, you've got, the, you've got the science to back inevitably, this up. No, when I go doesn't... and I get street tacos, I only like two of maybe the seven that I got. And then I wasted <sighs> five. And then now I have to go back and order more of those two. But it's just like, then now at that point, I've spent so much money. I have a rebuttal to this I've spent so much money. So I'm going to use your own argument against you. Well, I know when I order something, I'm going to like, because I know what I like. All of a sudden, this doesn't apply. All of a sudden, this goes out the window when you order a taco. Like, oh my God, I never... Everybody's argument for street tacos is, oh, I can try all these different things, like new things and experiment. Uh, So, yeah, that's a great argument. Jim, we live in the age of customization. Street tacos allow you to customize your meal, try different things, expand your palate, and have a almost like five different dinner experiences all in one dinner. It's like a five for one. No, but see here. And hey, I don't, right. I've got limited time. Colin's I don't go, got, you go know what? out to dinner very Quit often. Quit trying you're, to interrupt Colin because he has no. You're so actually, I'm afraid of his points. <laughs> you're actually making the argument for burritos, though. Oh. You no, want, he's not. You want, no, no, you want, you want oh. versatility. You want to get customization. Burrito, I can have breakfast with it, lunch, or dinner. Okay, but True. most need, people need don't. need dessert thrown in there. The French made a little thing called the crepe. You throw some Nutella on that oh. with bananas and whipped cream, roll that up. Tell you me that's not to, a dessert you, burrito. You can it's go to not. Vegas that's now. A crepe. I get to have every single thing under the sun. You can go to Vegas and get a sushi burrito. You yes. can deep fry a burrito and it's a chimichanga a sushi- or whatever. You Korean can, barbecue burritos Korean, are a thing. Exactly. Okay, but those are all different. Like you we're can just get talking all about these like burritos. the very specific but you can eat like dessert tacos. Like Eric always gets like those choco tacos, which are desserts yeah. too. So you can make an argument both ways that both burritos and tacos can have admit, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. How does he feel after he eats the choco taco? 
probably fantastic. Mm, I don't know about that. I've I've been uh, in I've a been room in with Eric. <laughs> all we right, had to well. stay at a hotel. Um. So, all right. Another thing people say about tacos, street tacos, is you know, oh, I love the little corn tortillas, and I love the fact that they're so simple and whatnot. Here's my thing. I think street tacos are really difficult to eat, and here's why: because Corn tortillas might as well be made out of, like, sand, like wet sand, because inevitably you pick up the street taco and they've loaded it down with meat and some kind of a runny salsa, and then the middle of it oh busts so, out and you have stuff all over your hands. That happens and then, with flour tortillas, And then everybody too. always goes, and everybody goes, oh, you just add a second corn tortilla to it, and it's like, well, now the whole thing is just a corn. I might as well just be eating just Corn. Number so, one, we invented the, we invented the fork, which is the same thing you're <laughs> eating your burrito with. Oh, then it's not number a, two. It's not a taco. It's just a salad. You know, number two, you know, you know, you know what they're made with. You know, you know what I think those tortillas are made with, Jim. Tradition. <laughs> so see, here's the thing. But, and Go, there's a lot yeah. of like food restrictions too. So like for like my family, my mom is gluten free. She can't eat gluten, so she can't okay. have flour tortillas. Right. So she automatically can't have the burrito because they're wrapped in flour tortillas. So she's automatically going for tacos. Okay, the poor people who are gluten intolerant sorry, they can't Mrs. have the flour tortilla. Sorry, I'm Mrs. sorry Owens. for those of you who are in that <laughs> camp. You're missing out on awesome burritos. Right. I'm sure somewhere there's a great gluten free option, but I don't know what that is. <laughs> right. I Corn will, tortillas oh, I will say, on tacos. Right. I'm, I'm, I will add a caveat before we go much further that street tacos are good. I'm not saying they're bad. I'm just saying burritos Thank are you. better. Okay. I will say True. that the corn yes. tortilla, Agreed. well, when it starts out on the on the street taco, is. Very good. It's good for precisely 67 and a half seconds before it either gets yeah. totally soggy, soggy and dissolves into the mush of styrofoam that dissolves in water yeah. or dries out entirely and breaks apart. And then I've got all this stuff it's all like over the corn. plate. And then I'm just basically, like Jimmy said, eating a salad. How long does it take you to eat a street taco? Like, There's my next point. It should be like You three have bites. to wolf it down. You got to wolf and it down. So fast. I the can burrito, eat a burrito. Let's I, you linger. In fact, the longer linger. you okay. let it stay there, it gets all warm it and melty. It actually marinates itself. And then itself. the cheese and the beans and all the, the things and all that gets like inside yes. the tortilla. But if, that's, if you want to like enjoy your dinner, you're like, okay, absolutely. Burrito. Right. But if you're like on an awful date and you're trying to plan your exit strategy, you're about to just shove those tacos so, down uh, and three run the four out of, of us there. enjoy our <laughs> dates because we're married. A couple, <laughs> a couple of things Brittany's brought up here have alluded to some, <laughs> some uh, unfortunate <laughs> dating circumstances. If there's any uh, nice gentleman out there. Anyway, um, so uh, all right, but here's the thing. Another another thing I'll say is I I've seen Mark eat a burrito, and I think they're really easy to eat. But I know that some people beg to differ. But what I've seen is when I've seen people, I like who how say, you named my name and then and then like and then you know to, oh but some people some you know I mean people. there's certain segments some of the, the population who say who are screaming at their their radios right now or whatever they're listening to. Uh, are saying no burritos are difficult to, to eat. On radios, um, first of all. Okay, <laughs> but if you get if you get one, let's say you get it in like one of those aluminum foil kind of deals or whatever. Don't take the whole dang thing out of the aluminum foil and chuck the aluminum foil and then start eating the burrito. You keep it in like a like an ice cream cone. It's like a cup at the bottom. It holds the whole bottom together, and then you. But eat. the ice cream cone and is functional. You eat. The cone when you're done with it, well, you don't yeah. eat the tin foil. No, but you don't have to. But then when you get down to the end, it's just like you were saying. Okay, Brittany takes the whole freaking banana <laughs> out of the banana peel before. Okay, she we did man. not just need to publicize that. <laughs> just Who did you team me up with here? <laughs> I did. <laughs> I didn't know that was weird until one of my really good friends at college saw me eat a banana one day when we were studying for finals, and she's like, "Brittany, that is messed up. Like, no one eats a banana <laughs> yes. like that." And see, if you eat a burrito the right way too, then it's not a mess, which is also another point. Mm -hmm. Durability of a burrito makes it better. Very Because durable. you can enjoy it longer and you can take it more places. Mm -hmm. Try taking a taco in the backcountry on your elk hunt. You know why burritos, Not gonna work. You know why burritos were invented? A burrito, burrito in no. the Burritos were invented. But you can't. But you can't. But that's going to give you food you poisoning could. if you no, like leave it out no, for no, too long. No, no, no. Burritos were invented for the people out. It's a Central American thing, primarily for Mexico. And when some of the folks were out on the farms and things like that, they invented burritos so that the workers could take them about and eat them and everything was wrapped up in a convenient tortilla. Can you imagine walking around with a taco? You got this stuff spilling out. Your corn tortilla is getting soggy within a matter of 30 seconds. That's just not going to work. We got, four, we got one, 40 one seconds. One last point. Sanitary. Burritos are more sanitary than tacos. Taco lays open and exposed, allowing any contaminants to enter said food. Yeah. But the presentation I'm not a germaphobe. looks better. Yeah. I'm saying I'm not a germaphobe, but... Some of us at the table may not reach into the La Fiesta chip bag after the rest of us have partaken without naming names. 
Um, so fair. I'm just saying, yeah. for those people, it might behoove you to participate yeah. in burritos. I'm gonna throw this out there. Everybody keeps talking. Not come everybody. Back. I'm saying we not, started. You can you can finish. We're going over here. This is right, pretty right, big. Whatever. Deal. A lot of talk on this side of the table. Oh, I have more. T- I I need to more time to eat. I need more time to. Eat. You know who needs more time to eat? Somebody that doesn't like what they're eating. When my kids don't like something, <laughs> they sit at their plate and they stare at. For I need a lot of time because you know it's the broccoli and I don't want to eat. Actually, my kids love broccoli. Maybe they're exception to the rule. Oh, However, so I'm just are better. thinking. I don't think you know what you're missing. Interesting. I'm not okay. missing anything. I, I'm I don't gonna, feel like I'm uh, missing. Anything. Hold on. Street I've, tacos. I'm going to throw out one last point. On Netflix right now, there's a whole documentary on street tacos. Didn't see one on burritos. Also, this will come out on Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Yeah, that's because no day starts with B. I'm sorry. Mm. Uh, that's okay. a great thing, though. You don't need a day of the week to enjoy your food. You eat every it any day. day you ever want it. Um, one of the last things that I am going to point out, though, is uh, just because Brittany's already pretty much discussed her uh, her some of her dating unfortunate circumstances oh, no. <laughs> uh, let's just let's just point out the fact that if you're gonna try and go on a date with Brittany and you say that Mexican food just isn't an option in general <laughs> now I'm gonna, this is this is where I'm gonna say if somebody straight up tells me no Mexican they're already off all right out now if they say hey look I'm not a huge fan of burritos but I will go and eat tacos okay I can respect that as long as you like Mexican food that that's that's what I'll say I still think burritos are better taco Tuesday it's got a day. It has a day. <sighs> there you hear Do it. Do burritos folks. even have a month? I don't know. Do tacos have a month? I don't know. Should <laughs> they have, have a day? You had a, should, it, you had a very serious point. You're I'm, gonna I'm try gonna say just a question. There's a month. Just throwing it out there. It should be July because we celebrated our country's birth in July. And how better can you celebrate our country's birth than with something so representative of our country like a burrito? Because people <laughs> immigrated into this country. And then, really, it was California. In California, they made the mission-style burrito, which is what we all know and love, like Chipotle and Qdoba. And that burrito has said changed into what it is today. And tons of people love and enjoy it. So, representing immigration, coming to this country for new opportunities, making things better. Therefore, it represents America. So, July is the month of burritos, if you ask me. And I think it's awesome. And burritos win. I got to be honest, I didn't follow any of that. We I just didn't claimed, either. We just claimed the burrito like Lance Armstrong, not Lance Armstrong, uh, Neil Armstrong <laughs> claimed the moon. Claimed the moon. Robert Snow. <laughs> Robert, Robert S- Snow. Robert Snow. All right. I'm terrible with that. Okay. Anyway, we're way over 10 minutes. Sorry, everybody. But we'd love to hear your thoughts. If you didn't chime in on Instagram, hit us up. Tell us what you think is better, burritos or street tacos. All right. That's all we got. They're both good. Bye. All right. Bye, We're all everybody. still friends. Bye. Bye.